Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn the Friedel Crafts reaction of anisole. First, we are going to do alkylation, that is, addition of alkyl group to the anisole. Let's write the structure of anisole. This is anisole. We are going to react it, it with methyl chloride, that is Cl. CH3. CH3 Cl is the methyl chloride structure. The catalyst is anhydrous Al Cl3 aluminium chloride and carbon disulfide. What happens? In the ortho position, there will be one hydrogen. In para position, there will be hydrogen. It will leave as HCl. And if it takes place in the para position, here it will leave as HCl. So HCl is eliminated. We get a mixture of ortho and para isomer. So this is O CH3 anisole. To the ortho position, methyl group is attached. And here the reaction takes place in the para position. O CH3. To the para position, a methyl group is attached. Let's write the name for the structure. This is anisole. And this is methyl chloride. This is methyl chloride in presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride and carbon disulfide. HCl is removed, and we get the name of this compound is 2 methoxy or ortho methoxy toluene. This is CH3. This is toluene in the second position. Methoxy is attached. So 2 methoxy toluene. And this is 4 methoxy because this is this is the first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, this is fourth carbon, the fourth carbon methoxy is attached. So 4 methoxy toluene. The major product we get is the para isomer that we know. Okay, this is a major product, and this is the minor product. Okay, this is major. And this is minor. Let's summarize the reaction. If anisole reacts with methyl chloride in presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride and carbon disulfide, we get a mixture of ortho and para isomer that is 2 methoxy toluene and 4 methoxy toluene. The major product we get is 4 methoxy toluene. Now we are going to learn. The acylation reaction of anisole. Acylation in the sense addition of CH3CO group to the anisole. Let's write the structure of anisole. This is anisole. We are going to add acetyl chloride with this. Acetyl chloride. CH3COCl. For our convenience, I am writing in this manner Cl, CO, CH3. The catalyst is anhydrous. Aluminium chloride is the catalyst. What happens? The reaction takes place in the ortho and as well as in the para position. Here, hydrogen and chlorine will leave as hydrogen chloride. If the reaction takes place in the para position, Cl, CO, CH3, hydro hydrogen chloride is removed. We get a mixture of ortho and para isomer. This is Anisole to the ortho position, CO CH3 is attached. And if the reaction takes place in the para position, we get in the para position, CO CH3 will be attached. Let's write the name for the structures. This is anisole. This is acetyl chloride. Acetyl chloride. If the reaction takes place in the ortho position, we get 2 methoxy, 2 methoxy acetophenone. The name of this compound is 2 methoxy acetophenone because this part is acetophenone. Okay. To this, in the second position, methoxy is attached. So the name of this compound is 2-methoxyacetophenone. Let's come to the structure. That is a para isomer. Here, this is acetophenone. In the this is first carbon, second carbon, third carbon. To the fourth carbon, methoxy is attached. So, 4-methoxy 
acetophenol. This is the major product. The para isomer is the major product. This is the major product and this is the minor product. Okay, let's summarize the reaction. When anisole reacts with acetyl chloride in presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride, we get a mixture of two compounds, that is two isomers. One is ortho isomer and another one is para isomer. The first one we get is 2 methoxy acetophenol and the second one that is a para isomer is 4 methoxy acetophenol. The major product is 4 methoxy acetophenol. Thank you.